Last night, a Reddit post gained some traction from uh, a user who claims that a lot of new spawn points started appearing in a rural area where he's been playing Pokemon Go since launch. The post has a ton of follow-up comments from people saying they saw the same thing in their rural areas. Lucky for me, I'm heading up to Laurel Canyon to meet with Bo again today, and that's probably the most rural area in terms of Pokemon Go spawns that I'm familiar with. So I'm interested to see if there's more Pokemon spawning up there. I also have to change my Go Plus battery. It seems like it died a lot faster this time. And I have been having a lot of connectivity issues with it. So I don't know if that's related. But this time it's actually dead. Cassie's first time up here with me. I'm just gonna check the spawns right now, see what's going on. I don't think I've mentioned this on the channel yet, but Niantic did, with the latest uh, nearby feature rollout, change it so that it went back to split nearby and sightings, and I don't wanna get hit by this car, so let's go over here. We have a split nearby and sightings list now, so if there are three or less Pokemon near Pokestops, you'll get the split list, if there are four near Pokestops, it'll be entirely nearby. It's not as good as two tabs, one for nearby, one for sightings, but it is nice, it is helpful for those players who have one Pokestop very far from their house, because you'll still at least get to see three Pokemon that might be closer to you. I know the main spawn points up here have generally been right here at the end of this street that's actually up the hill that way. I don't know if anything else is gonna spawn down here though. It's also very narrow, these roads. Check it out. All these frames. <laughs> the dude who makes these frames up here made all the frames for Basquiat. That's kind of crazy. out here though. Slash I'm gonna keep my terrible Go Plus connected. See that? That's the same connectivity issue. Is that why my battery's dying so fast? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if anything spawns in the house, in the area. If not, they might still just be up here. So this is gonna be our schedule. just talking about this, and it's actually been confirmed. On the Pokemon Go Twitter, Niantic just posted, Trainers, we've observed increased numbers of Pokemon sightings in parks and other outdoor locations in urban and rural areas. That's actually kind of big news for me because from the beginning, what I've wanted is more Pokemon in wilderness areas, in wild areas, so forests, mountains, deserts. 
places away from the city, away from cellular activity. This might be the first time I get to say this about Pokemon Go, but if you're lucky enough to live in a rural area, get out, check it out, see if you have more Pokemon spawning, and definitely check out parks, because it seems like they might have added more nests also. Beautiful. also specified that spawns in urban areas have been increased. I figure we can go check out a nest and just see what that's like. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I checked the Silph Road earlier and there's a Squirtle nest not too far. It's kind of on the way back. So we'll stop by there, see if we can catch a few Squirtles, and see if it seems like the spawn rate's increased. <laughs> Park, and according to these reports, four in the lot before I even got out of the car. That's today, December 16th, so that's post spawn rate increase. This one says, uh, saw two pop up at the same time, 10 minutes. Not a lot here. Nine squirtles in 30 minutes. That's the 15th, but someone did report that they saw this spawn rate increase yesterday. So we're gonna walk around and see how many squirtles we can find. Focus stop. Squirtles, Squirtles, two Squirtles, right off the bat. Uh, still loading though. Am I loaded? There I am. Two Squirtles though. Let's just catch those and we'll keep walking. Cold? Don't worry, this is quick. All right, there's one. I'm gonna wait here. Make sure I can get the next one. And that is my first catch of the day at nine o'clock at night. Oh yeah, we <laughs> we did not get very far. Still won't let me spin that, huh? Squirtle. Sorry I ignored that Growlithe to anyone who gets offended when I do that. But we have a lot of them out here. There we go. Cool. Two Squirtles, three Squirtles. Can I spin this Pokestop? Yep. Wait, where'd the squirtle go? This one? Where was it? By that Pokestop. Did I just lose that squirtle because I spun a Pokestop? It's right here at the I really did. I did just lose that squirtle because I decided to spin the Pokestop first. There are definitely a lot of Pokemon spawning, I'll say that. I mean, look at this, three on top of each other. It's uh, unfortunately not a ton of Squirtles at the moment. And I know I was just saying I hate shooting at night, but this park is really well lit. So, kind of worked out. Sweet. All right, one more Squirtle here. Light drops off, so I'm turning around this way. Is it warm inside this thing? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Three squirtles. I haven't even checked my candies. 94. <laughs> Alright here, I'll catch this growl for you guys. Alright. It's really chilly. Post rain LA. It's actually really clear today which is nice, but still kind of cold. There you go, Growlithe caught. See, almost 400 candies. I get a lot of them. We'll just head down to the gym, drop some stuff off there, and then that'll be the end of this, because I would like to get home and actually start editing. It's late already, after nine. Cassie got another Squirtle. I'm just waiting for my game to reload. Whoa, there they are. Cool. So this is five now, right? Yeah. Yeah, 
All right, let's keep moving. This is not standing still weather. Sorry to sound like a spoiled Californian. Again, this is cold to me. Two Spiros, I'm a chop. It looks like number five might be our last Squirtle. Cassie's phone's dead, but I'm still gonna put something in the gym here. Ooh, there's a Chansey at the bottom. I'm a champ. Okay. Let's head back to the car. Oh, there's a Squirtle on nearby. Where is it? Okay, one more Squirtle. Can I go get it? Of course. Do you want to come with me? Duh. Alright, let's go. Keep you warm. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. Last one, number six. Got it. All right, now let's go back to the car. After checking the IVs, none of the Squirtles that I just caught are great, but I only need 20 more candies to evolve another Blastoise. So I'm gonna head to the Silk Road and just uh, leave my report real quick. There are already a ton on here, but it never hurts to add more. Oh, except for that thing where my service is really slow right here. So, all right, maybe I'll do this when we get home. This package came for you. Really? <laughs> this is sweet, the one with the mouth open. <gasps> Thanks, Ben. When we were in Japan, Ben and I went to Pokemon Center in Sendai in the Tohoku region and Ben grabbed the last Snorlax that was there. I couldn't find one. I wanted to bring one back for Cassie, and I told myself, that's fine, I'll just get one at <laughs> Pokemon Center Mega Tokyo, and as you know, I didn't have time to make it there. So Ben just sent that Snorlax over. So thanks, Ben. That's really cool of you, and Cassie, obviously. <laughs> what? He's so cute. He's making me feel tired now. Now, as for increased spawn rate, I can't say whether or not that Squirtle nest that we just went to had an increased spawn rate because I've never been there before. It would have been a lot better if I could have checked out uh, a nest that I'm familiar with, but obviously my schedule today just didn't allow that. Now there have been lots of reports online from people who have seen massive increases in spawns in their homes or around their homes. And every time Niantic plays with spawn rates or changes spawn rates, moves spawn points or whatever. I always check to see if I get a spawn point at my house, and it hasn't happened yet. Now when Niantic increases spawn points, it's not that they're adding individual points. They don't plot each individual point. As you guys know, spawn points are sort of based around cellular activity, and they've written an algorithm, a code, something that takes cellular data and then converts that into spawn points. Areas with higher cellular activity have a higher density of spawn points. So increasing spawn points is just a matter of tuning that algorithm. At the end of the beta, they increased spawns to insane rates. So on the last day, there was just a ton of stuff spawning everywhere. So much stuff that my phone could barely even handle it. If you're in a rural area, and even if you're not, let me know in the comments what your experience has been. Have you seen an increase in spawn points in your area? Oh, and you know what? We gotta give something away today. Here's today's giveaway. Four booster packs of Japanese Pokemon cards. I'm not actually sure what sets these are from, but there you go. So if you wanna enter, the link is in the description. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and you're good to go. I'll pick a winner for these tomorrow and these giveaways are gonna continue all the way through Christmas. That's it for this episode. Again, let me know in the comments if you've seen an increase in spawn points. I'll see you guys tomorrow.